deceitful workers. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 3 and 4 and verses 13 to 15. But I fear lest somehow as a serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. Verse 13, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. Another strategy of the enemy to get entrance into the life of a believer, sadly, is through people, whom Paul refers to here. Is he refers to them as deceitful workers. So what Paul says is this, you need, we need to guard ourselves against the crafty deception of the enemy. But then he continues to explain in, 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 in the, the same chapter, and we've picked out a few verses, that Satan actually uses people. There could be people who are preaching another gospel, that there could be people who are preaching uh, another message, people who are coming with another spirit. Uh, they may appear to be messengers of the light. They may appear to be messengers of Christ, but in truth or in reality, they're actually messengers of Satan because Satan transforms himself to, into a messenger of light. And these people then, uh, whom Paul refers to as deceitful workers, they are able to promote crafty deception into the lives of believers and if believers as, as believers if we are not careful we embrace the kinds of things they teach which Paul in another place refers to as doctrines of demons that means they are teachings that are actually demonically inspired they will hold believers in captivity they will take believers into a place of being enslaved actually to the works of the enemy so we need to guard ourselves against deceitful workers. How can we do that? First of all, we need to be rooted and grounded in the truth. We need to be established in the knowledge of God and His Word. It is only then that when we are know the truth, we can identify error. We can identify our deception. We can identify a lie. So take time to be established in the truth. Fill yourself with the knowledge of the, of the Lord and of His Word and be careful to the things you hear because you don't know when a deceitful worker presenting himself as a messenger of light is actually peddling a deception into your life. Stand on guard. Remember, deception weakens. And it's one of Satan's primary ways to gain entrance into the life of a believer. Guard yourself. Stay with the truth. Be filled with the knowledge of God's word. Let's pray. Father, we ask that as believers, you'll help us be vigilant filled with the knowledge of the truth, your word and your spirit, and let the anointing dwelling in us teach us all things and guide us into all truth. And God, help us be on guard against the lies and the deceptions of the enemy. Help us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.